Hi guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to bring these ones back. So this is your Divine Masculine message for you guys. I'm going to see how many I can get done um, tonight, how many videos I can get out for you guys. So with that, if you guys are ready, I am ready. Let's just get started. Um, I still need that one. Okay, so like I said, Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine message for this evening. So one of the first cards that Divine Masculine is coming through and saying, um, I'm sorry I ghosted. So he's really feeling the effects of his choices that he's made. He's really in a place of... I don't know if you guys have been separated for months, for years, for weeks. Seven is coming up. So I don't know if that means seven weeks, seven months, or seven years. I don't know why seven just came up. That could be resonating with someone. Um, I don't know if there's like seven years difference with someone. But it's in this place where you need to know that your divine masculine is saying, I've used the time that I've had away from you to realize what I needed to realize. Um, ghosting was a way for Divine Masculine to not feel what he needed to feel, okay? Um, does that mean that he wasn't the right for him to do what he did? No. I, I feel like ghosting is immature. I feel like it's... There's definitely different ways to deal with that situation, right? But he didn't deal with that situation. So for me, Divine Masculine is coming through and saying, look, like I ghosted because I couldn't deal with what I needed to deal with. I ghosted because at the time I thought that's what I needed to do. So, which makes a lot of sense because the next two cards coming through said I need some more time and I need to go away for a while. Or I needed to go for away for a while. These say that but I'm taking them more so out of context today because I feel like divine masculine knows what he needs to do it's just a matter of getting off of his ass and actually coming forward with the information that divine feminines know their worth um we as divine feminines have waited long enough for divine masculine to figure their shit out um we have been more than fair, we have been more than understanding, and we have been more than patient. But it's not our jobs to decide when Divine Masculine is ready to come forward. It's Divine Masculine's job to decide that. It's Divine Masculine's job to work through the issues and the lessons that he needs to work through, okay? So, as he's coming through and saying, look, I never meant to hurt you, I never meant to ghost you, I needed this time away to figure things out. I needed this time away to figure out what I needed in my life. I needed to go my own way to figure out what I saw in my future. And it was never because I didn't want to be around you. It was never because I didn't want to be close to you. It was never because I didn't love you. It's because something within me was missing. And in order for me to find that missing piece of me, I needed to go my separate way. So that is one of the reasons, and one of the strong reasons I've been picking up for a while, that the Divine Masculine's ghosted. So know that whoever is viewing this video right now, your Divine Masculine is truly sorry for ghosting. It was not, again, something that he did initially to hurt you. It was kind of like, um, I want to say it was, uh, I know what I want to say, but it's on the tip of my tongue. It was a way for him to not feel what he needed to feel. Like he felt like if he ghosted, he could block you out. Or if he ghosted you, he it would do something to his feelings where he would forget. But it was quite the opposite effect on him. He never forgot. If anything, the feelings that he's had for you, it kind of grew. Um, so this time apart from you has really shown him that there was something special about you. There was something about you that he has been trying to find in everyone else and now it's a matter of okay there's got to be a reason why i can't get divine feminine out of my mind there's got to be a reason why i can't move forward okay i thought about reaching out to you but then i stopped myself he stopped himself because of one is embarrassment that's what i just heard 
He's embarrassed because of his actions. He's, he's embarrassed about the way that he has portrayed himself. He's embarrassed about the way that things had come to an end with you, right? So where do you go from here? That's the thing. Where do you go from here? He needed this space in order to figure out exactly where to go. He wants to make this right. Like being away from you was never something that he truly thought was the answer. But at the time, it was the easiest thing for him to do was to ghost, was to walk away. Because if he isn't with you, if you're not with him, then how can he get hurt? You know, and I think that he has been hurt from his past and it was like a wall he had to put up. You were you were taking a part of him that he wasn't ready to let you have. If that makes any sense. Like that's what I feel for you guys. He was taking you were taking a part of him that he wasn't ready to let you have. And it was more about um I don't want to say it was a misunderstanding. It was more about him not being ready to be fully there yet. But now that he's had this time apart, he's coming through and he's like, I'm totally there. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to not tell her what I need to tell her. Because at the end of the day, he, he thinks about you and he knows that uh, some part of him knows you're his babe. Like, you're my babe is coming up. So when he thinks about you, when he reflects about you, he knows that you are his babe you are his baby you are his um just trying to see if there's any other words that were coming through but like you're i want to say you're his person but you were the the light the light that he's been looking for you make things brighter you make things seem happier and now that he's had that time apart away from you, his life has been not so much dark, but I feel like not where he would want it to be. And it has a lot to do with the way you portray yourself and, you know, this light that you have within you. It's like being around you just lights up everything within him. And it's like when you leave his life or when you're away from him, that light dimmers. So it's only when you're around him that this light initiates i don't know if that resonates with anyone but that's definitely coming in strong as well but you know divine masculine's coming through and saying look you've opened me up in ways i've never been open yeah because he's in this place where he says like that one person they're taking they're taking me somewhere and that's why I zoomed out because I don't know if this is going to make sense to anyone but I feel like I'm standing and I, and I did something about a post the other day about this I feel like I'm standing in like a field and I don't know if it's just like flowers or if it's sunflowers or you know but I feel happiness and I feel this sense of freedom and I feel a sense of you know being myself and I you know I feel like I'm running through this field and I'm trying to pin the movie that I really feel but I feel like that's what he wants he wants that that open field with you he wants to be able to just run and not have any worries or any you know drama or like he just you've done something to him that makes him feel alive again you, you know, and it, it has to do with, like, you know what they're taking me? I don't know if you guys ever remember the Wizard of Oz, where before they get to the Emerald City, they're literally, like, Dorothy, Tin Man, the Lion, and the Scarecrow guy are running through that field, and there's all these beautiful flowers, and it's, you know, they've got, they're so happy, and they're so excited to get to that final point, and it's like, that's why I feel, I feel like I can just 
see Divine Feminine standing on that yellow brick road, just just nearing the Emerald City, and Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine is like running towards <coughs> Divine Feminine through that field because it's this this feeling he gets when he's close to her. So he's running through this field of flowers and these flowers for me represent like beauty and they represent like happiness and fulfillment and like that's what you give him and I don't know why they're taking me there they're obviously taking me there for a reason but it, it, like it's just he knows that with you he can be himself he knows that with you he's it's never been about all the other stuff that it's been about with all the other people okay so it always going to come down to you will always have a special place in divine masculine's heart regardless of the situation okay i want to wrap you up in my arms to keep you safe and hold you forever yeah because that that is that is what he wants and that is what he's really been thinking about. It is holding you as close, is being near you. Okay? He really wants to kiss you too. So I know for some of you, this is going to be really, really tough to hear. Because there's been no communication, there's been no closure, there's been no discussion. But you need to know that if you're here viewing this video, it is because it is for you. So whatever parts of the story that you are resonating with or taking from like this for me, I'm getting, I, I'm not even getting hard feelings. I'm getting like, this is coming to the end of a love story. Like the way that I, I can see divine masculine running through that field towards divine feminine, or it's even divine feminine running to that field towards divine masculine. You know, it's, it, it's coming to the end. And it's like, you just have to hold on a little longer, but he's been praying for you. Okay. And the last card says like, I love you. Right. So I really feel like your divine masculine genuinely cares and he does love you. And if you need to hear that tonight, then that message is for you. All right. So you guys have yourself a fantastic night. You guys take care of yourself whenever you see this. I'm sending you guys all love and light until next time.